everyone, I'm back with another card making video. This one is, it's kind of a mixed card. It's got some Stampin' Up um, paper, but the rest is just stuff I have laying around, if that makes any sense. Um, it's not a complete Stampin' Up card. It's not a complete not Stampin' Up card. So it's kind of a mixed card. Um, we are going to be getting some snow tonight and possibly two to three inches tomorrow, finally, for our winter. Um, kind of crazy. It's going on the end of November and we haven't had any snow. Like, we had it where it would come down for a day and it'd be gone by that evening. So, kind of late for us um, here in Colorado and... Yeah, we kind of need it. We need the moisture. We haven't had any. So, I'm kind of excited that it's going to snow. I don't like the cold. I hate being cold. I don't like going out in it. But I do like the snow to look at. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Snow is coming. Um, so, I'm kind of over the whole fall thing. Like I, I said in my last videos, I don't make Thanksgiving cards, I don't make a lot of fall cards, whatever. I made a couple this year and I'm done. So I am going to move on to, this is kind of a little winter themed card. Um, the Stampin' Up! stuff that I am using is from the Winter Frost specialty paper set and I'm using this one and it's just got these really pretty blues, um, the snowflakes. So, um, the colors in this paper are Smoky Slate and Island Indigo and Coastal Cabana. So, those are some really pretty colors. And just in case you have those colors of ink or something that you might want to coordinate the paper with, just in case. <laughs> so, that's it for the Stampin' Up! stuff, is just that pattern paper. The rest is um, cardstock from Recollections. So my base is white, and it's another A2 size card that's going to go, it's going to open on the top. And I used my Lacy Ovals, Nestability's Die again. I love this one. I use it a lot, in case you couldn't tell. Um, I also used my Sizzix Embossing Folder Dots. And... The rest is right here. Um, the image I'm using, actually let me grab it because I have it in a binder here. This is a Greeting Farm Girl and I colored her with a couple of my Marvy, Marvy La Plume alcohol markers and then the rest I used my Bic Markets. Um, I did use some, some silver stickles for her boots and her scarf, a little bit on her barrette called Waterfall. And then I added these little tiny brads right here onto her bows and her hair right in the middle because I thought the colors matched pretty good. So that's my little, um, my little colored image. And it's from a set called Special Autumn. So it's right here. And there she is. But, like I said, I'm not making a fall card with her, so more of a early, whoops, um, early winter kind of card. So that is the image I'm using. These are all of the colors I used as far as the markers I used to color. So all of this. And let's do the inside of the card. It's going to be really simple like most of the insides of my cards are. So I'm just going to take... There's my phone again, sorry. Um, my mat here is four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to check this really quick. And... Okay. So, um... And this is four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use this little Studio G pad. Uh, most of mine have dried up, and I found this one that actually works, and it matches pretty well with um, the colors on here. So I'm just going to use this one, and I'm just going to ink around with the pad itself. 
I was gonna bust out my my Stampin' Up ink, but um, this one is gonna do just fine. So this I'm actually going to place right on instead of putting a mat behind it. Um, well, let me see if I'm going to like that. Yeah, we're going to do the mat again. Only this one I think is like 3 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8. And normally I do 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. But I think that's just kind of how it ended up because of some cutting. So we're just going to go ahead and attach it to that. Oops. So. Then I'm going to stamp on my little index card. This is just an index card. Um, just the blank side of it. And it's um, 3 by 4. And I always use those for the insides of my cards. They're just the perfect size to go with. Um, I do cut them down. I just cut a bunch of them and stick them in a little container and then just grab them as I go. But I get the four by six index cards and the three and a half by five index cards from my Dollar Tree. So, very easy way to decorate the insides of your cards. Okay, so we're gonna attach this to the inside. Just center right inside. Like that. And then I'm going to take this little snowflake stamp, and it's a Studio G stamp. Um, they don't have names on them, but I've had this one for a couple of years, and I'm going to use this little snowflake right here. That's why I'm using the Studio G ink, because it's a pigment ink, and it works better on the lesser quality stamps. So I'm just going to ink it up really good. It's kind of drying out, so. And I'm just going to place some snowflakes. Now they look kind of crazy because it's not inked all the way, but I think it looks okay. Oops. Yeah, not very good juicy ink pad anymore, so that's going to have to work. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to do the outside. And the outside, you're going to put together, um, I am using some ribbon. It's just a metallic silver ribbon. And, yeah, I'm going to put it on this piece. So I'm going to put my little lacy oval here so I can see where my ribbon needs to go down here. I'm not putting a sentiment on this one. So I'm just going to tape this side down. It's kind of a big piece of tape there. Then I'm going to tape the other side down. Just like that. So then I have my ribbon on the front. And again, I'm just going to take my ATG gun and just run a little strip across here. So to make sure that's going to stay down and not move. So there I have my my little metallic silver ribbon. So I'm going to attach this to my mat. This pattern piece is the same as the inside. It's four by five and a quarter. 
kind of my typical style of size, I suppose. And my blue mat here is four and one eighth by five and three eighths, which is normally what I do on the fronts of my cards. So there we have that part done like that. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the front. So flipping this over and seeing this from the back end, you could always pre-cut this out like I do and then when you're going to cut out your die, you could use this as a frame if you really wanted to. I just noticed that. Pretty cool. So again, I'm going to center this on the front of my card. Just like that. There we go. Then I'm going to put my layers together. And I have this was one of these. I ran the die to cut this out, but then I just clipped all of the lacy stuff off so I can attach this to the center of this one to look like that. So that's what I did for that. I didn't know if it was going to work or not, and it worked out pretty good. So just going to attach this to my white piece here. See if I can get this pretty centered. That looks good. So I'm going to flip it over and give it a good rub on the back since it is embossed. There we have that. And that's going to go right there. And I'm not sure if I want to pop this up. I think I just want to leave it flat. I don't think I want to do a whole lot of dimension on this. So I'm going to take my... Oh, let's see, what glue should I use? Um, I'm going to use this glue pen because this works pretty good. So this is just my Zig two-way squeeze and roll glue pen. I'm just going to kind of spread some glue around. I want it to ooze out everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I can center her on here. Pretty good. I'm hoping this glue will work. I'm actually just going to keep pressing this down for a minute. Make sure that's going to stick. Flip it over. Rub it a little on the back. This part wasn't planned. I didn't know how I was going to attach this, so sorry. <laughs> so hopefully she will stay on there. Not sure. If she doesn't end up staying on here, I'm going to have to use a different glue. But I don't want to put her on any dimensionals. So we're going to see if that's going to work for now. So that's going to be centered like that. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that piece just with my ATG. There's no texture on my patterned paper, so I don't think I have to worry about this coming up. So 
Oh, about like that. So there we go. And then I have these little jewels that I got. Um, got these from the Scrapbooking Queen. And I will try to find the link. She's got a Facebook group. If you ask to join the Facebook group, Facebook group you can shop um, for her items in her store so I will put the link to that in the description for you you can go check out these little these little jewels they come in um, several different colors I believe she still has them so like I said I will put the link in the description for you so you can Go check them out. Just line that up so I can get these um, spaced evenly on my card. If it doesn't stick to my mat. things want to stick everywhere but where I want them to. Put that one there. So there we have a little winter card. You guys can see that. And then here is the inside even though I know these are faint little snowflakes. Um, you can see them better off camera. So that is just a cute little early winter card using a greeting farm girl and some Stampin' Up! paper and whatever, whatever I have on hand. So I hope you guys like this little card and I will put links in the description for you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!